Hello guys, so today I wanted to talk about an interesting topic related to 3D printing um, and actually something I'm quite surprised hasn't been picked up more by the media given what it is um, and it is 3D printing keys and key blanks um, so you ask why is this such a big deal well it's a big deal because Anybody with a 3D printer, even a consumer grade 3D printer, or even you don't even have to have a 3D printer, you just have, have to have access to uh, the internet and the ability to order something. Because um, you can, there are plenty of websites that you can go to and pay them, you know, 10 bucks or whatever, and they will 3D print you um, a model. So. Uh, you don't even have to own a 3D printer, you just need a couple of dollars, and you don't even need to know the key code, or what type of key it is, or anything. You can, you can duplicate keys from a picture, and that's why it's such a big deal. Now, I have um, a lock here to demonstrate this on, and this is a just a regular key I happen to pin this lock to, and um, as you can see, it works perfectly, just as you would expect. You know, insert the wrong key, and that uh, won't move. And the thing about, and I'm going to show you how I uh, duplicate these in just a moment. But uh, the thing about this is, is you, it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether it's quick set or slag or it can be any key way you can make a key for. It. Um, so the real thing about this is that there are, you, I mean, you can go down to your hardware store and get a key copied. That's that's nothing new. No, but the, the reason why this is such a, a big deal is because you can uh, copy keys for like for locks on like schools or wherever that have restricted keyways that you know only one person can you know make key blanks or get key blanks for. Um, so uh, that that's their biggest defense of hong people duplicating keys is because you can't get blanks. But um, if you have a 3D printer, uh, you can get just about any blank that you wish. Um, now, I'm not going to go through all the steps of getting a, making a key from a picture, but I will show you the basics of duplicating a regular house key. Um, and hopefully if you're doing this, it's because you're curious like me and you and not because you're trying to break in someplace. Um, but anyway, it's, it's very simple. Uh, you can, if you have an original house key, like, um, like this one, you may or may not be able to see the, there are numbers written on the side of the key, and that is the code for the key cuts. Now, if you have a key like this, which is not an original key, and it doesn't have those numbers on it, you can use a very simple device like this, which is um, a key decoder, and um, get the key code that way. Uh, or even if you don't want to go this far, you can put the key on um, a scanner and scan it, and then do a bunch of image editing and crap to get it, but this is just easier. And if you're going to be 3D printing keys, you can print one of these. This is on Thingiverse. Um, if I think about it, I'll put the link down below, and this is for slag keys, um, and I found that it's also accurate for quickset keys as well, because um, I'm pretty sure that they use almost the exact same, I know they use the same pins um, and some other components, but I believe they also use the same cuts, or at least similar enough. So essentially what you do, if you don't know how to use one of these, you have your key, um, and you just stick it in there, you start with the first cut. So in this case, it'd be this deep cut right here. You basically just uh, stick it in like that and move it over until it stops. Now, you can't see this, but it has stopped right about here on the 4, which means that this first cut is a 4. And uh, you just continue to do that for um, all the key cuts until you have decoded the whole key. Now, it, you don't need to do this if you have the code already but if you don't then there you go um, so after you have the key code then uh, on Thingiverse uh, if you are trying to duplicate a Schlage key or a Quickset key you can go and put that key code into one of the customizable keys and it will generate you a key file which you can then download and print it's really that easy um, 
And as far as more complicated keys that aren't Schlager Quickset, there is a tool online called Keyforge, and you can basically just take a picture of the lock, and it will automatically generate you a blank. Again, it's it's really that simple. Um, it, it's not really that big of a deal. But the problem is, because it's that simple, pretty much anybody can do it. And like I said, you don't even need to have a 3D printer to do this. You can order these online from a um, place like Shapeways or... Uh, can't remember some of the other ones, but they're, they're out there. Just look up 3D printing um, services, and you can get these printed. Now, I will caution you, a lot of these services won't print you keys for this very reason, but if you're trying to duplicate your house key, honestly, it's going to cost you more to get it 3D printed than to go down to the hardware store, unless, of course, you have a printer yourself, and then it's not a big deal uh, but anyway that's about it uh, I don't really have too much other to say about this other than it, it's easy I'm kind of surprised the media hasn't jumped on it and um, yeah it's pretty interesting but w one last note before I go is that these keys do fail very very easily now these are made of PETG but I'm sure you, you could also get away with making them out of PLA they're it's pretty flexible stuff and um, I would definitely not use these in a deadbolt because they flex too much and you're likely to break them off. But if you do, just use a regular pick and you can pull them right out or probably a knife or something like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a very nice day.